Dark Knight. Everybody changes. Okay, episode four. Maybe what do you got for us? If you're worried. I'm worried I won't like it. Then we should definitely have one. Yeah, that's a good idea. What do you think, Miss Baratsky? It's Madame. So the, the, sorry, this, Madame yes, Madame. Uh, so she's the one who's going to help her right. like do regression so hypnosis, right? Help, then yes. Now this is something straight out of what the X Files. Mulder loves regression hypnosis. Oh, um, a banana. 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 Banana it is. That's a good one. Banana. Okay. Banana. Okay. Banana. Banana. <laughs> sorry, I'm just practicing. Just normal people things. Places, everyone. All right, what's the game plan? So and this is, oh, oh, is this on three, the radio? Two, oh, okay, that's actually not a bad idea back. for a radio show. As that's kind of a fun thing. We have a special treat for you tonight. Mm. Madame Baratsky is a past yes. regression. Yeah, therapist. Mulder loves this Claims stuff. Have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. Yes. From ancient Egyptian concubines to Cold War spies. Welcome, Madame Baratsky. Thank you. We're here to have fun. And of course, it wouldn't be our show without my better and more beautiful half. Say hello, Monroe. Hello, Monroe. <laughs> Monroe Wait, again, where are the microphones? Sleep by Madame Baratsky this evening. You make it sound like euthanasia. <laughs> She's going to wake you up again. I mean, knowing the two of you, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Yeah, she can wake her up. Of course. Really beaming with confidence. <laughs> Remind me again why you couldn't do it both. Dodgy knee. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's in the problem. In a moment, Madame yeah. Baratsky will put Monroe into a trance. I prefer hypnotic state. Ah, oh, okay. A hypnotic, hypnotic state. state. There you go. In a and dreamlike state. What she sees. Later on, we'll be taking your calls. Have you lived before? Do you remember any past mm. lives? Or is it all just a money-making racket? <clears throat> okay. I don't think she appreciated that one. <laughs> Were you a tiny caterpillar? Were you a Tyrannosaurus? Were you a czar? Let's hope you were reborn ready. Oh, God. Take it away. God, Poe, you're such a cornball. Okay. Close your eyes and focus on the sound of my voice. Ah, oh, focus. Listen to nothing else. <laughs> Oh, very authentic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Madame Baratsky has started the regression process. She's doing a dance. It's <clears throat> enthralling, really. It, re it really, it really takes you into the the procedure. <laughs> Feel how heavy they are. So heavy. Feel them sink into the chair. I've met a hypnotist before. It's definitely one of those things that um, talking with him, he, he explained that if you want to be hypnotized, you can be. But if you don't, it won't happen. Oh, um, I guess her? <laughs> I definitely thought it was just going to be her face. It won't work if you fidget. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll be still. Like if, if if you want to be hypnotized, it seems like that's the only way. Because if you don't believe in it, and if and if you're not into it, it seems like your brain just won't let it happen. Yes. Focus on your arms. So heavy. Feel how heavy they are. Hmm. Feel them. Sink let the weight into of them just melt into this and chair. Pull you into the deep, deep dark. The the sunken dark place. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess do the other one then. Don't don't do the face. Good. Yes, she she's asleep. And uh -huh. Take her under. Now you have crossed into a life you have lived before. Do you remember who you are? Um, yes. Who? Monroe says she can remember a previous life. Why isn't she, she microphoned? <laughs> it would be way easier. This is terrible radio. Truly terrible radio. Um, Do not rush. I think she was Let asking for a drink. Come to you. Let it yeah, that's like the international symbol you. for I would like a drink of something. Yeah, right? Uh, right? Let I think that's what she's asking for. You. Step into the world and become your former self. Yes. 
Um, oak, uh, I guess water? That usually means water. Yeah, when someone does like the drink symbol, they want something like refreshing. Oh, now that's some good water pour I'm pouring fully. <laughs> Under the waterfall. Oh my god, please tell me it's gonna be like an oceanic. Oh, this is cool. Like going going into the synapses. The memory DNA. Some real Assassin's Creed stuff. Oh. Uh, okay. What do we have here? Uh, we have a question mark down here. What is happening here? Huh. Is... What's this port... Is that Poe Monroe here? Okay. Uh, what's this question mark? I'm Elizabeth. Oh, ask him a question. Oh. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? Okay. Are... Wait. Are... <laughs> uh... I guess... Check mark? Being right. It's huh. a gift. And a burden. Being right about what? This is such an interesting. Where yeah, isn't that Poe Monroe there? And who's this? Is this is this the the regression hypnosis? Uh, okay, I guess that's asking the question. You don't know, do you? I don't know what. <laughs> it's okay. So wait, are we? I'm just being polite. So are we it's Monroe? Nice living the person who's asking what these did questions. You tell you about me? Who? Who? Oh my god. Wait, what is going on here? Okay, so we have a wine glass, um, two people, and a knife? I guess, um, uh, middle of the road. Let's ask about the Relationships pair. Relationships are hard. Okay. Especially with my condition. Okay, so she was in a relationship and she has a condition. She's always Let's right? Let's play a game, Doctor. Sure. Let's play a game. Um, yeah. You're very accommodating for a therapist. Hmm. What's the game? What you do you do want to something? play? Okay. Then I'll get it. All right. Um. Oh, oh, this is like straight out of um, like Ghostbusters, like the 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 telepathy. Um, I guess let's go with squiggles. You're thinking about waves. Yes. Like the ocean. Squiggle, squiggle. Don't say anything. All right, I wasn't planning to. I mean, you haven't said anything since you arrived. Wait, haven't we? <laughs> haven't we been asking you questions? Do you believe me now? Uh, I mean, that's pretty vague. But I can read your mind. Oh, so that's her condition. Okay, um, sure. Let's go check mark. Good. Yeah, let, let's play along for now. I lose a lot of friends right about now. I mean, I can't imagine why, being told that you can read someone's mind. Something happened at work. Okay. The dry cleaner's in town. Mm-hmm. I can't switch it off. So you're always listening, right? As soon as I lock eyes with a person. Oh, it's when she locks eyes. Oh. I get that Ooh, that's dangerous. Hey, y'all. So that's why she has such an evasive stare. Okay. Um. So I guess, what about the the eyes? It's like... Tuning a radio. Okay. If I focus in on the signal, as someone, I hear their thoughts. That's an interesting power. That's that's a cool twist on the the mind reading. You can't just do it. You have to like anyway, look at them. So people have like defense against it. With a suit. Okay. It's got a stain on the trousers near the zipper. Gotcha. And all he's thinking when he drops them off is Sharon can't pick these up. Sharon can't pick these up. So he starts screaming at me hmm. that he needs the hour service, or he'll have me fired. Oh, so you work at the dry the cleaner. Manager. Okay. Um, I guess the pants? I guess Sharon, who doesn't want to pick them up, yeah. is his wife or girlfriend? Might be. Might just be Either a friend. Way, I don't know. He doesn't want her to see his assistant? Friend. But Sharon is also the name of my manager. Oh. I call Sharon over anyway. Okay. Sharon! Sharon! Oh! This guy's face is a picture. Oh, but man. He's holding it together. Sharon comes in. You did him dirty. Fresh. She's thinking about the washing machines. Okay. She is the manager, so she normally does that, but this time was different. All right. How so? She was thinking about Nisha. Okay. 
spinning away in one of them. Wait, what? This is a wild tale. Okay, um, uh, <laughs> tell me about uh, Sharon, I guess? Nisha. Or Nisha, okay. She's part-timer, waiting to start uni. Okay, okay. Sweet looking, but salty. Anyway. So what happened to her? The store manager here is shouting and comes over. Gotcha. Oh, oh maybe the manager doesn't cool. like her. Ed. All right, sure. He says that we shouldn't be advertising something we can't deliver. And what's that? He says he's a lawyer and he'll sue us. The store manager, whose name I intentionally forget, okay. says he'll sort it out. Hmm. Shaman, in the meantime, has gone ashen. Oh. Uh... But why? Why the... This is like a like a gavel? Okay. I don't know if Ed's a lawyer or not. Oh, he, yeah, he might just be bluffing, that. yeah. Ed finally gives in, throws his suit at me, and leaves. Hmm. The manager looks at me and says, Can you work your magic hands over his trousers? He's Very curious. He's thinking of topless, in a hot tub, but with way bigger breasts. Oh, boy. And you can't really tell HR about that. <laughs> uh, I read his mind. <laughs> Knowing people's thoughts eats your soul. Yeah, that seems like a dangerous power to have. Uh, that's a real, like, um, unfortunate... It's like a blessing and a curse. Okay, so we have, like, woman dancing and pants? Uh, I guess let's go with... I, I'm not sure, actually. Like, what makes more sense? <laughs> Uh, I guess let's go with the woman? Fine. I guess I painted the picture. You might as well think it. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me wear a bra, though. Okay, so she put the idea into That's our head. Specific. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Gotcha. Okay, I see what she did. Okay. Okay, and so you work on I the pants. Nisha? Nisha. Yeah. Like a rag doll in a hurricane. Wait, what? Just spinning inside this big machine. Oh, so did she actually get stuck in a machine? Smashing against glass and metal. Oh. Blood pouring out of every opening. Oh my god. She's a mess. Yeah, I could see why. Getting spun around an industrial uh, machine can't be good for the blood. Can't be good for the bones. Can't be good for the organs. I mean, this is just my guess, but I would not like to be. Wait, what? A ring, maybe. A ring? Yes. A ring. Hmm. Good. I need you to get it for me. Wait, what are you talking you about? You understand. I understand. So she pulled us out? So she could ask us well, to get a this ring? this is fascinating, huh. August. We'll be back with more of Monroe's past life in just a moment. This is very strange. What's going on? So wait, was and she like a uncover her past. like a therapist? Why does she need to get this ring. Oh, yeah. it's just a technique I use. I think you should bring her back now. It would be dangerous at this point. Dang, I mean it can't be that dangerous. It won't be. Quiet. Oh damn. I'm trying to concentrate. I mean, people should really check Poe more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's putting her back under, but. Hmm, I wonder if that is actually true, or maybe she is lo looking for something. Maybe she knows that Monroe has information that she needs. Okay, um... So what are we doing here? Um... I guess, go with the... Nisha? Sharon's in a psychiatric hospital now. Oh. Okay, so... I guess the idea is that Sharon did lock her into the washing machine? I guess. Um, I guess she got arrested? They arrested Sharon for Nisha's murder. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sentenced to 18 years. God damn. Wait, how did One you not pick up on this? Oh my god. It's terrible. No. Maybe murder should be punishable by death. No, I don't agree with that. Okay, um, I guess, but oh, uh, maybe we agree with her? Maybe that's like the, we want to keep her talking? Yeah, let's go with that. People don't change, do they? Oh, people can change. People can they change. Um, okay, so we're asking about 
the guy? Fingerprint or go back? Well, we haven't asked about this. I did see Sharon once. After oh, okay. She didn't talk. But in her head, all I could see was Nisha oh, going God. round and round. Poor Nisha. And was literally stuck like a broken record. That's, again, a very cursed thing because every time she looks into her eyes, she'll see that. Okay, so um, we haven't asked about this. I guess we can ask about this. I watched the trial from the gallery. Okay. Not many people made eye contact with me, but Sharon did. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. She wanted to die. Oh, boy. Really die. Yeah, Sharon is not well. I don't think she killed Nisha. Oh. What do you mean by that? So may maybe it wasn't intentional. Okay, well, what's this one? The fingerprints. Sharon's fingerprints were all over the machines. Okay. And hmm. her husband was having sex with Nisha. Oh. That's all the jury needed. But what if the husband did it? Nobody saw her do it, though. So no real evidence. Lawyer. Oh, man. People with money get away with murder all well, the time. Well, that is definitely true. Don't they? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Oh, whoop. I mean, I, I think plenty have. Is there anything rich people can't buy? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Wait, what is this? So they're, oh, oh, it's a couple kissing. Um, so I guess let's go with this. Sharon's defense. Yeah. She said Jared killed Nisha. So that's what I was wondering if it was Jared. The umbrella man. Oh, <laughs> it was the guy on the grassy knoll. Um, I guess let's go with the umbrella. Jared's the umbrella man. Yeah, I, I understand the metaphor. It's a nickname. We were on a work do and it started raining. Oh, it isn't. Jared it's actually he is the umbrella man. Out of nowhere, and then gets handsy with any girl stupid enough. To oh go God, it. that's so gross. Umbrella man. Yeah, stay away from that umbrella man. Um, so what about this couple kissing? Nisha worked for Sharon as a housemaid. Okay, that's how she met the husband. Ah. It's so cliche. Nisha was desperate for money. Gotcha. And he was desperate for attention. So again, I'm I'm still wondering if it was, oh. The guy who came in, I wonder if that was her husband. Okay, uh, I guess let's ask about the cash. I never told anyone this, but Okay. Nisha charged Sharon's husband for sex. Oh. I mean, she said she would have done it anyway, but okay. since there was a chance of getting paid... I mean, industrious, that's for sure. So, I don't think Sharon knew. Ooh, I wonder if that's why he killed her. Yeah. Would you pay someone to have sex with you, Doctor? I mean, I personally wouldn't, but I... I mean, if people want to, that's up to them. People pay people to have sex with them all the time. Yeah. Just not with money. I mean, it can be. They do it expecting love or opportunity. Okay, all right, that's not exactly what I was expecting you would go with. <laughs> Orgasm. It's not really paying... <laughs> oh boy, that's that's definitely not a positive way to look at that. All right, so what is this? A paintbrush or a dustpan? Nisha was good at cleaning. Oh, what cleaning. Okay, so it was like a hand Often brush. I'd go to the back of the machines to hoover the lint trays out, and okay, Nisha was there with Jared, hoovering away already. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, I guess let's go back. So, uh, we talked about this, nothing there. So let's go to the machine itself. Not too happy. That's a, that's an image burned into your mind. For a while so the yeah. real cleaners could come in. Oh boy. They got rid of all the blood. Yeah, it's not going to get it out though. That's a cursed place. It wasn't just blood. No. Oh, that's horrifying to think about. Her skull would split open and was grating against the metal drum yep no not good some of her teeth oh my god this is terrible sorry doctor no no it's just very vivid what did you want to know um <laughs> let's, uh, let's ask about the machine i guess sharon's fingerprints were the only ones on the machine right you did say that actually hers and nisha's okay but the police thought hmm. she'd struggled against the machine trying to fight sharon Nobody heard anything, though. Hmm. So, I wonder if it was an accident. I wonder if she just, like, accidentally fell on the machine and it got turned on? Or the husband did it. Uh, Jared. All right, well, um, what is this? Chemistry? 
perk. Perk? Perchloroethylene. You're going to have to explain. It's using dry cleaning machines. Oh, okay. I've never known that. But Nisha didn't drown. Okay. Well, I mean, she definitely... The spin cycle broke yeah. her spinal cord. I think cord. that got her first. So she was paralyzed for a few minutes while... Oh, my God. ...mashed into everything. That is a truly terrible death. Oh, my God. Shock probably got her first. Dear God. Dear God, okay, uh, what about, what is this lock here? Yeah, dry cleaning machines have huge locks. Okay. There's no way of shutting yourself in. Ah, uh, see, that's you what I was wondering. Yeah, I, I wonder if it was Jared. Or it was the guy, um, the lawyer, who, or at least he claimed to be a lawyer. All right, um, so let's go to the tombstone. Nisha kissed me once. So. Oh. Okay, how was that? What was the context, I guess? I slapped her. Okay, fair enough. I mean, that was a non-consensual kiss. Um, I guess let's ask, what was the context? We were in the machine room. Uh-huh. She said she'd got something in her eye, and would I take a look? Okay. So All right. Ah, uh, it was a ploy. The irises were lovely. This is a very weird, like, Diamond. what is the context of this, like, interview or discussion? And while I was looking, she just kissed me. Yeah, just went for it, huh? But her mind, it was beautiful. Oh, right, because you were looking she right into her eyes. What were her thoughts? You think you would have seen it coming. When she kissed me, it, it all fell away. Oh, interesting. All I was left was shame. Hmm. Fear. Oh. Repulsion. Oh, Nisha. So I slapped her. Oh, that's why you slapped her, not because of the kiss, because she was repul- Oh. Interesting. Okay, I guess the- what was she thinking? What did Nisha think about? Yeah. <sighs> Nisha thought about Jared. Mm, okay. A lot. She hated him, but she also wanted to sleep with him mm. at the same time. Interesting. Quite a conflict. It's pretty common. I'm sure there's an interesting scientific term for it. I guess there might be. That seems like a weird... Uh, I, I hope that doesn't come up that often. That seems like a bad way to go about it. Uh, so, what is the angry face? Yeah. Angry sex. Oh. Angry sex. Okay. I'd probably take either right now. Oh, boy. All right. Um, Man, everyone in this story is having a bad time. Uh, so, I guess this is a... It looks like a like a targeting. Nisha reticle. was asking for it, wasn't she? No. I mean, no. If your partner's cheating on you, you murder their fling. No. Right. This is all bad. Oh my god, no, no. Exactly. She'd have killed her husband for sure. Why start with Nisha? It seems very strange. It Again, doesn't make any sense. Where was Jared during this? Track his whereabouts. Was he wearing gloves? I think. Oh. Jared. Killed Nisha. I'm going to say, have you not looked him in the eyes? I mean, that's what I was thinking, too. Um, well, let's ask about the Umbrella Man. Yes. I told you about the Umbrella Man. Yeah. She hated him. Yes. But in a lady doth protest too much kind of way. Ah. That's unfortunate. That's Maybe very unfortunate. He Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Uh, so what's this about the machine, then? I saw Nisha's body in the machine. Oh god, that is a terrible Her eyes thing. Are still open. I hate this for crying blood. Oh god. Why yeah, is it so evil. visceral? Oh my there god. Was peace. Nothing else. Oh my god, that's I guess Just beautiful, peace. but also so sad. So so sad. So she was still alive when she got to her in the machine. Oh my god. Okay, um <laughs> coffee. What does coffee have to do with this? I'm allergic to nuts. Okay. Is that hazelnut coffee? This is definitely normal milk. Oh, oh, you don't want the nut milk. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Oh, 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 oh. This is uh, the safe word. What is this though? Huh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, banana. I guess. Like, do we want to get out? I guess, yeah, let's see. It's banana milk. So I'm, I'm guessing she's saying this out loud. Also, how do you make banana milk? 
Unless it's just like flavored banana, right? Like fake candy banana flavor. Banana. 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 Let me out. Monroe, Let back. me out. Banana. 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 Banana milk. What's wrong with her? She's banana. stuck between two lives. Oh, right. Monroe. Monroe, listen to my voice. You can rest now. You can come out. Come out. How are you doing? You can go in after her. Oh, no, that's okay. Just sit down, please. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Oh, unless... I wonder if we, How like... Go in after her? Po what is... In her brain? Is I Jared in the previous life? I, I wonder. Sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess he does probably have a feeble mind, doesn't he? And down he goes. Oh, good boy. Aww, sleepy time. So I wonder if she's after something. Like, I wonder if this is like Nisha's like sister or aunt or something. And she wants to find out exactly what happened to her. Because she knew somehow that Monroe's, Monroe's past life could find out about this. Oh, oh, rings. Okay, what do we have here? You want to see my ring? What? Ring of... I don't remember like, wearing one. Like, wedding ring? <gasps> remember, she said get the ring. Shall I take it off? That's 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 what the uh, the, the regression therapist said, yes. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say keep your ring. Maybe later. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so, oh my god, what can we do? Umbrella Man? Yes. Tell me. Tell me the tale of the Umbrella Man. Jared. Yes. He's a bad dude. The Umbrella Man. Not a good dude. Some would say horrible. Some would say terrible. Some would say a creep. I would say all of the above. He's weird. Like a spider. Okay. Trapping. Sharon ducked under his umbrella that time. Oh no. And his hands slithered around her body, uh, kind of rested uh, under her breast. Everyone knew he was touching it. Oh. Uh, Sharon just. Gave you gotta, a you gotta call that shit out. Away. No, you, you, you gotta call that out I if you can. I tried to his mind, but it was like a stereogram. Oh. Hmm. How? How so? Like, hold on, stereogram. Jared's mind. Was yeah. A mess of colored dots that didn't make any sense. Hmm. I never knew what he was thinking. Ever. Weird. Like, almost like he has two thoughts going on simultaneously? There's only one other person I know that's like that. Oh, wait, who is it? Wait, um... I, I don't understand. Like, what, there's a... Meta oh, what do they call that? A stethoscope? And I think that's supposed to be Sharon? Okay, um... I guess stethoscope? Yep. A doctor? Dr. Decker. Oh! Also Toast mentioned that! I actually came here today to tell him that I don't want any more sessions. Oh! He creeps me out. Okay, so that's the other game they made. So I guess this is technically set in the same universe. Alright, so tell me about why he's a spider. His facial expression didn't change. Nothing. Who is this Dr. Decker? It was like he was... Well, we'll have to play that at some point. Prey. Okay. He didn't seem to be particularly enjoying touching her breast, just hmm. the science. Ugh. Like he's just like a, a, a like a like a sociopathically detached creep. Like he just does creepy shit. Oh boy, I guess let's ask about the washing machine then. Jared quits after the murder. Hmm. Well, so did I, to be fair. Yeah, I can't imagine wanting to work there. I've kind of quit everything now. Yeah, I don't blame you. It seems like you had a very traumatic experience. Um, so, I guess, what do you mean by that? You can't just think of a question mark. <laughs> if you've got a question, <laughs> then you have it. I thought we were asking, what did you mean by that? Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, cat? I like cat. People get like this. Yep. Flustered when I can read their minds. Cat. I'm thinking cat. Cat? Cat. 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 I agree. Yes, cat. 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 Cat's good. I like cat. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess let's ask about the death. I already said that Jared killed Nisha. Yes. Or something did. What do you mean? Some what what do you mean something? Do you Oh. Believe in the supernatural. I mean at this point I do. You can read minds. Um ooh. But do we do we want to 
prompt her or not. Oh man, I'm torn. Yeah, let's say we do. Jared killed Nisha. I don't think I'm safe here. Yeah, I mean, I guess the question is, does he know that you know? I saw it happen. Oh. But I couldn't tell the police. Wait, what do you mean you saw it at? Like They were in the back room. Jared and Nisha. Oh my god. They were kissing. And like, not through like his mind. And like you saw it, saw it. She opened the door to the machine. Oh my god. She just got in. And Jared, he shut it. What? Like she got in willingly? Like it wasn't like a fight or anything? He didn't have fingers. He had... What? What do you mean he didn't have fingers? I can't. Excuse me? You can't just say that and not expand? And the kiss. His tongue. Oh my it god. Was, it was a giant worm. What kind of- just slithered what? from his mouth into hers. So maybe that's why she can't read his I mind. I catch Nisha's eye. But it wasn't her. Excuse me? It took her over so quickly. I am very confused. I've seen. So that's why she couldn't read Jared's mind. Dr. Decker said that- if I can imagine another world, I can move myself into it. What other world? Just dream myself away. This is some real, like, Lovecraftian nonsense. Someone people love. Oh my god. Someone beautiful. Someone who isn't me. Okay. Have you tried doing this? What do you think, Doctor? Oh man. Can I just dream myself away? I guess. I I don't know. You seem to have some sort of power. Maybe maybe this is another way you can manifest it. Sure. Thank you. <sighs> who Jared is this Dr. Decker? Dr. Deck Dr. Decker. And he's coming for me. Okay, so how do we hide you? I guess I should start dreaming. I've always liked the name Monroe. Oh. What do you think, Doctor? Wait. I thought we were playing Would this doctor. Or is she going to become Monroe? Oh my god, what is happening here? <laughs> I feel like we're, we're being incepted playing this. Like, am I even awake right now? In an hour, you'll wake. I have so many questions. Deep sleep. What the hell? The giant worm? No fingers? I mean, I guess that would mean no fingerprints, room. right? Yeah, that is some Lovecraftian madness there. Oh, and don't forget to get paid. I can only assume they weren't going to actually pay you. <laughs> that should cover it. Yep. I'll see myself out. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> oh, these dummies. So I guess the question is... Were was she reading the mind of Monroe going Dr. back? Dr. Yeah, going back to her previous life as On the doctor. Note, here's a message from us. Or as the mind reader. Sure to enjoy. The police are looking for Miss Baratsky. It's a shame she didn't stick around. Oh, real shame. Was she even licensed? Licensed in regression hypnosis. Her, I don't think that's a real thing. From who? Yeah. Herself. When she oh my god, door, from Frankie! Morning. Frankie told us! You've had a complete stranger take over my body? Oh god, Poe. I didn't know what she was going Poe to do. Poe is really a huge so dumbass, violated. isn't he? I don't blame you! I can't even tell our listeners. I think you might be you on the air. Robbed. She literally took my wallet and your purse. I know. That was everything I had. Man, and you guys are so bad stuff. at your jobs. What else is gone? <laughs> my adoption papers. Excuse what? me? My adoption papers are missing. Like... I didn't know you were adopted. Well, yeah. I am. I'm not ashamed to Wait, say Wait, why it. would she take that? Sorry, Poe, I, I wasn't suggesting that. That's it's so weird. when someone takes something so personal. Mm -hmm. It is very Just strange. She she is. It's like taking like someone's Past family photo album. travel agent who robbed us whilst we were dreaming. But it wasn't a dream. You were there. That's true. You and me. Yeah. yeah it was a shared like dream. Wizard of Oz. Maybe the reason the people looked familiar is because you made it all up yourself. Well, I mean, that's not true. So, are we dreaming now, or is this Yeah, what's real? what's real in this game? Anymore. Want me to give you it's all dreams. Reason. Oh, boy. No, this is real. 
Yeah. How can you be so sure? She wants to throw because up. Because in my dreams, you're much more of a charmer. <laughs> and richer, I'd imagine. Too soon, Paul. Yeah. Too soon. Too soon. Oh, boy. That was that was a good next episode. On dark oh, night, what's next? Okay. You're live on air, line one. There was an animal in the road, howling like a wolf. Oh, my God. Are we getting a werewolf? A hairy animal. Oh, please, please. Please. Hell yes. We're going werewolf hunting. Ah, oh, this is literally Casper Light. The most incompetent radio host. Wolf Lake. Okay. Love it. Love it. All right, so they're on the hunt for a wolf man. I'm sorry. You have no idea what's at stake. I mean, I don't oh, yet, nice. but I'm excited to find oh, out. Oh, so good. This is such a good level of cornball. Uh, so most people pick banana. Um, we chose the water, which made more sense. Uh, waves. I mean, it was the first one. Oh, I think I thought people could change. Oh, no. Oh, oh, we were just agreeing with her. We were. Yes, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, we agreed with her to try to get her to keep talking. Um, yep. Yeah. Honest exchange. Yeah, that was a really good episode. It felt like we were like really diving into another thing. I wonder if that is like it, she mentioned Dr. Decker, which Toast you mentioned is like another game that seems to be connected to this. Very cool. We'll have to check that at some point. But yeah, this was a good episode. I cannot wait to see what we get to next.